Hi, I'm Sue from the Wellesley Free Library. I'm often asked, what have you enjoyed reading lately? If asked today, I would answer immediately, The Rose Code by Kate Quinn. Why? Because the author's ability to tell an engaging, suspenseful, page-turning story with great characters, and it's based on in-depth research. Let me tell you a bit about The Rose Code. I listened to this story, which was marvelously narrated by Saskia Marleveld. It is available at Wellesley Free Library on CD, Playaway, and e-audio, as well as the physical book and e-book. Kate Quinn is known for her historical fiction, such as The Alice Network and The Huntress, but this book is so much more. She is able to bring suspense, espionage, and emotion to the story. There are many stories about World War II, and this one features England's Bletchley Park, or BP as they refer to it, and the Code Breakers, particularly women, including those from the Women's Royal Naval Service. These women were brought together to decode, using the Colossus machines, German and Italian encrypted messages encoded by the Lorenz cipher machines in Germany. Famous names such as Alan Turing, Dilly Knox, and Nigel de Grey make their appearance in the book. As an aside for the Anglophiles out there, the author notes that Kate Middleton, Duchess of Cambridge and wife of Prince William, acknowledged that her grandmother and great-aunt both worked at Bletchley Park. These codebreakers had to take an oath never to speak about what they did to anyone, and they signed the Official Secrets Act with the threat of death if they broke the vow. This book is told in two time periods, the 1940s during the war and 1947 after the war. It is a story of the friendship of three very different women brought together through Bletchley Place and the eventual breakup of this friendship. The three very different main characters are Osla Kendall, a well-educated debutante who excels at the German language and who just happens to be dating Prince Philip of Greece. Yes, it's the same Prince Philip who became Prince to Queen Elizabeth II in 1947. Osla's role is to translate the decrypted German messages that the codebreakers find. In the author's notes at the end, it is revealed that Osla is actually based on an actual person. The real person was Osla Benning, who was an heiress who worked at Bletchley Park and also dated Prince Philip. The second character is Mabel Chert, or Mab. She is a poor East Londoner who wants to better herself by finding a husband who will raise her to a higher social level. She works the code-breaking machines. The final member of the threesome is Bethan Finch or Beth. She was a spinster who was stuck at home with a domineering mother. She becomes a member of the group that actually solves the codes, and there are a variety of them. She is very good at it. The story reveals how their lives grow and evolve because of Bletchley Place and what happens there. But then the story changes. What happens to cause the fracture in their friendship and have them turn on each other? Who is the woman who was put in the mental sanitarium in 1946? Why is she there? And what is the coded letter that she has in her possession that she claims identifies a traitor to England at Bletchley? Can the women overcome their problems and come back together to break the Rose Code and identify this spy before he or she gets away? Many of you may be put off by the length of a book, 640 pages or 13 CDs, but I have to say that I was very disappointed when the story came to an end. A good story is never too long, and this one is perfect for reading or listening at home or at the beach. Place your request today for the Rose Code at www.minlib.net. I guarantee you will be seeking more information regarding Bletchley and the women who played an important part in World War II.